hi welcome back to my channel today i will be doing a video of makeup that i've been wearing every single day in the month of april i got the idea to film it from this youtuber from poland her name is katie her youtube name is katosu it's k-a-t-o-s-u yeah um, she's an amazing makeup artist and every month she does this face of the month video where she shows like what she's been wearing most in a certain month. So I really like that idea and I wanted to show you what I've been wearing this month. And this is pretty much the makeup that I've been doing every single day. So yeah, I hope you wanna see what this is. This is actually a blush on my lid, which I absolutely love. Keep on watching and we're gonna begin right now. So I already primed my face with glycerin as always. I like to take just a little bit of it and wait a few minutes till it soaks in and becomes tanky. Then to prime my lips is something that I've been using for the past month or so. Is this Milani Moisture Lac Lip Oil, which is awesome. It's a great dupe for all those lip oils, lip masks that you I have not been using this month um, the Dark Circle Concealer. I have been just going pretty heavy on the foundation. I figured I might as well go a little bit heavier on the foundation rather than apply to many concealers. I've been going in between few of the foundations, but this one is the one that I've been definitely using the most. And this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in 102, which is Shell Beige. I absolutely love this foundation. I think it beats some of the high-end ones. I'm just going to apply it on my face using the flat foundation brush. I'm just going to paint it on my face to create a thicker layer. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics Beauty Sponge to lightly dab that into my face. I'm going to take the beauty sponge and with the flat side, I'm going to lightly pounce it on my face to blend the foundation in, but I don't want to smudge it and move it around. Just pounce it in and smooth it out. I'm beating my face. I'm just lightly pouncing it. I'm all nice and blended. I'm going to use a concealer. Like I said in the beginning, I didn't use that much concealer, especially like the orange one. But at times I would use this one right here, so just for the sake of the video I will use a little bit today. Uh, and this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in Fair. I just use probably like that much, nothing too major, because this concealer is very thick and it's getting hotter and hotter. The less product you have on your face, sometimes it's better. a nice little highlight going under my eye but nothing too big and too heavy so that's exactly what I've been doing and in the month of April I've been switching switching I've been switching between the two powders right here the Ben Nye natural set powder and the elf high definition powder I prefer this one I sometimes feel like I don't want to waste it even though there's very little gone but still today I'm going to use this one because I just like it more now it's time to set the face I used to use the Beauty Blender to set my face and this month I've been mostly using a brush. For under my eyes I will, you know, get the extra product before I set it real quick, dab powder in it and just set right under my eye. For the rest of my face I've been using this fluffier angle brush. This brush doesn't have a name. This was my first set that I ever got. So it's, it has probably like six years or so, but I do like it. It's more on the fluffier side, but it's an angled brush. So I've been just picking, so I've been just picking some of the powder, tapping the excess off and just setting my face. And I never brush on the powder. I stipple it on. absolutely love the finish this powder gives you. It's just so almost photoshopped and oh, couldn't say more things about it. Now for my brows, I'm using the Milani Paint Pad in medium brown. That's something that I've been doing for a few months, but I do like the product, so I'm just using it. Um, I have pretty thick brows, so all I'm doing is filling like the sparseness 
making my brows overall just a little bit darker but nothing too crazy i still want the hair to peek through i still want the hair to look like they are there i don't want to make them disappear and have eyebrows that looks like i drew them on see and like i'm happy with something like this especially for everyday work I know that this is like old news by now, but did you guys watch Walking Dead? I still can't believe it. I still am <clears throat> shocked and oh, somebody's gonna die and it just sucks. I hope it's not. I mean, I like everybody but Carl in that group. So if they kill the kid, I'm not gonna complain, but I have a feeling it's not him. Now for, oh, but do you, have you seen the Fear the Walking Dead? The new like spinoff? Actually, it's not a spit up, it's technically what happened before The Walking Dead came on. Um, it's not as good, in my opinion, as The Walking Dead, but I feel like it will satisfy that crave that you need. So, I've been watching it. There was an episode last night that I haven't seen yet. I recorded it, so I'm gonna watch it after this. So, hopefully, it was good. Now, I've been using this month the Hula by Benefit. I used that as a bronzer slash contour or whatever, so. At an with an angled brush again, I would just dip it in, tap off the excess, and then put it on my face. With a very light hand, really touching it to the face, that way it won't be too harsh. But I still am getting that bronzy look and it kind of is getting my cheeks a little bit more chiseled. And the same thing I've been doing to my forehead, nose and neck, just Dipping it in, tapping up the excess, and putting it all over. Now for my nose, after I dip it, I just kind of swipe it, like dust it on the bottom of my nose. And then I pinch the brush and lightly dust it on the side. Now it's time for the blush and to be honest with you, most of the days I would not use any blush. This would be kind of it for my face. But when I would use the blush, I would switch between the NYX Fake Blush in Wonderlust and the Milani Luminoso. Today, they're like almost identical to be honest with you. I've just noticed that. I mean, they really feel like the Milani is a little bit more peachy and the NYX is a little bit more pinkish, but essentially they have the same style of sheen and everything. But the NYX one is less pigmented, which to be honest with you, I'm okay because the Milani is sometimes giving me a hard time. So with a blush brush, I'm just going to take some of that Wonderlust and very lightly sweepy, sweepy, I can't talk today, and very lightly sweep and very lightly sweep it yes there you go sweep now i'm questioning myself and just put it on my cheeks very lightly okay that's better and now finally it's time for my eyes like i said the milani luminoso is very pigmented and one day at the beginning of april i tried it for my crease color and i absolutely fell in love with it it's like this perfect peachy summery springy color i think so with a blending brush i've been taking this up and just using it as my crease color and i couldn't be happier i really like the way it looks it's just it's just so pretty oh it really is and i've been literally doing it every single day i'm so in love with this i mean it just so pretty! Now for my eyelid, I've been using the Lorac Pro 2 palette and I have been switching in between, <clears throat> depending on like my mood and stuff, buff, beige and rosé. So I've been switching in, I cannot say switch today because I've been saying switching like the past five times. So anyways, I've, I have been switching in between the three. Today I'm gonna go with buff. And that I just apply with like a regular eyeshadow brush just to add a light layer of color but nothing too special. And on the days when I felt like looking a little bit more sparkly then I would go with beige or rosé. Probably beige for most of the parts, most of the time. If I say something dumb and you're like questioning like what the fuck is she saying, 
Don't worry, I just say things sometimes random, it doesn't make sense. As long as you kind of know the gist of it, then I think we're good. But yeah, that's just me blabbing away, as always. Now for my inner corner, I am taking the color Snow, and that's been the one that I've been using this entire month. And that's it for the eyeshadow. I have not done anything to their lower lid, nor do I want to. I wanted to keep this look as fresh and day appropriate, work appropriate. I've been wearing it to work every single day, like I've been saying, so I didn't want to go too crazy because I am going to put eyeliner because I just cannot leave the house without it. So I don't really feel like doing anything on the lower lid, but if you do, feel free to. I'm just not a lower lid type person too much. For my eyeliner, I've been using the Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Liner in Ultra Black, which has a very, very tiny tip. Sometimes, again, depending on the day, I would just create like a very, very thin line on my lash line, and that's it. Sometimes I would wing it out, sometimes it would be bigger, sometimes it would be smaller, so it literally... Oh, sorry. It literally depended on my mood. I don't have like a specific plan for the liner for today. I'm just going to kind of see what it is. First, as always, I'm going to start with like a very thin line. That way you can see how thin you can get with that liner. And then I'll mid throughout the side what I really want to do. Like this is an example. I don't even know if you can see it of how thin it can get. The point where it doesn't look like you have a liner, but it give you that extra black in your lash line that will when you put the mascara on it looks really nice. I'm actually leave it like this. I think I'm gonna go with a wing, just why not? Okay, so this is what I'm going with today, which is this tiny little wing. I'm gonna do the other one off camera. For my mascara, I've been using the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. This is a mascara that I've been using since on and off pretty much since I was 15 years old. But I always seem to go back to it and lately I fell in love with it again. It's just a very regular mascara, nothing special about it. It just will coat your lashes. If you don't have lashes, then I would not necessarily recommend this one because it will not give you any volume or anything. I do have lashes and they're pretty long and I'm happy with them, so for me, this one is perfect. And this is it for the eyes. It's very simple, fresh, I like it. Now for my lips, I have been either just using throughout the day the Milani lip oil or I would line my lips with the NYX um, lip liner in natural. Kind of make them a little bit more plump, so I'm going to do that right now. And I would either leave it like that and reapply the oil throughout the day, or I would go with the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color nude flash and just because i don't like when like you get that disgusting rim around your lips i'll just kind of dab it on like this and then just with my finger dab the rest in that way i didn't have like an overly large amount of this on my lips and then it would just look gross after a while it would just kind of stay and throughout the day i would just reapply the oil eventually the color would disappear obviously after eating drinking and all that this is what I would do when it got all like crusty and gross the oil would bring it back to life make it more healthy and shiny and yeah that's pretty much it and this is my final face my face of the month this is what I've been wearing 99.9% .9 of the time in April and I'm going to continue to do that till May and you really should try the Luminosa for your lid. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a winner. It really is. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please do so if you want to see more of my videos. For those who are here, then thank you so much for watching again. And I'll see you next time. Bye.